What is going on, wrestling fans? It is I, Steve. It's Danielle. It stocks up. It stocks down. And we are on the road to bad blood. Are you pumped for this event, Danielle? I am. I'm so excited. It's Roman's first pay-per-view back since WrestleMania that he's wrestled in. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Uh, I was a little uh, nervous missing SummerSlam because all the rumors were Roman Reigns is going to be there. And so I'm kicking dirt and mm, I have kids mm. and they want me to be at their playing. I got to be a good dad. Mm. Mm. But he showed up and I was like, yeah, that's great. But ho, 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 we're both going to be in Atlanta for bad blood. We're both going to see Roman Reigns back in the ring with mm. his last opponent tag team together cody rhodes and roman reigns this is opening up so many damn rumors and the first topic right here on stocks up stocks down is i read a rumor because pat mcafee and cody rhodes were together today and pat mcafee walks up to cody and says is the big guy coming back this weekend and cody kind of suggests like well which one which one so what big guy could it be besides the guy who raises eyebrow and smells Poontain Pie, The Rock, right? Uh, it could be. I mean, there's a lot of people who refer to the big guys. There could be Paul Heyman's the big guy. There's The Rock. There's Brock Lesnar that's been gone. There's a lot of people who can be considered as the big guy. Jimmy Uso, big guy. We don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot. I, I, is it going to be The Rock? Maybe. But um, I, I feel like Mr. Johnson is going to hold out. I think that we're going to get some other players before the big, the big tribal chief comes in, comes back. Interesting, interesting. Because I did see another rumor that someone thinks that The Rock when he does return, will mm-hmm. somehow, now let me throw this at you, it will be Cody Rhodes versus The Rock on the first Monday Night Raw airing on Netflix. Now that's a way to kick oh. off Netflix. But would you do that? Would you put that match on Netflix, which already has subscribers, which already has you hooked up and interested in this, or do you put it somewhere else to get more social media interactions like wrestlemania like a royal rumble things of that nature but the kickoff with netflix that'd be badass right listen you know as much as netflix charged me i better be getting something good okay <laughs> <laughs> my netflix goes up every month i feel like i get a new notification so they better give me something if it's the rock versus cody fine but it better be worth the price they're charging me every month to keep up <laughs> I know. And like Netflix, I remember when it first started, you could get like anything you could think of was on Netflix. (laughs) Anything you thought of. The Office was on Netflix. It was Spider-Man. A cartoon was on there. Shit. Things I couldn't even think of were there. And now it's like, well, everyone else started opening up their own streaming platform. So then everyone took a piece of the Netflix pie. But Netflix still is the most dominating, I think, streaming Mm -hmm. force in Mm -hmm. professional wrestling and in sports and everything. Mm So... Rock versus Cody kicking off the first episode of Netflix because we observed NXT, the CW, and mm-hmm. we saw they put out the red carpet. Mm-hmm. CM Punk was involved. We had a lot, The Miz. We had Championship Change Hands. We had Returns. Like There was a lot And there. we have Lil Wayne as the theme, uh, theme song. Rock-, Rock and roll. I'm sorry. Let me stop you there. Rock and roll and wrestling. That's the only thing that can exist. <laughs> That's the only thing that can exist. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. People were like, oh, I'm a, I'm a stallion. Oh, what's happening? Where's my rock and roll and wrestling? Yeah. That's, you know, rock and roll. And where I live, radio stations, they don't play rock and roll anymore. I like radio yeah. stations, but people don't usually use them anymore. Oh, you're Spotify really showing age. You playlist. still listen to the radio? Oh, God. I listen to the radio, damn it. <laughs> Do you still have a CD player? <laughs> no, I bought a new car and it didn't come with a CD player. <laughs> what am I going to do now? Flipping through my Limp yeah, Bizkit and corn. <laughs> Slipknot, System of a Down, Linkin Park, Nickelback, Saliva. What am I going to do? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. still listen to the radio, folks, because I like <laughs> to listen to those crazy VJs talk about, well, not VJs, uh, them talk about the, the music. Oh, did you see this? I, mean, I can't stand morning talk, though. I cannot stand. I'm driving my kids to school. I'm trying to listen to, like, uh, you know, something poppy for my kids to dance to in the car. And they're like, oh, well, we're going to talk about the, the wackiest story today. <laughs> I don't, I, you know why I'm listening to you? Because I don't want to listen 
Spotify makes me like choose. I have to figure out what I want to listen to. The radio makes me listen. If I don't want to listen, I just change the channel. I love the radio, folks. So, yeah. and by the way, this beard is totally natural, this color. Um, though The Rock, Bad Blood. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Rock and Bad Blood. <laughs> I, since I'm going to be there, I will wish it. I will pray it. I will take all my change and throw into every wishing well I can find because it shows you something that's happening. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns mm-hmm. teaming up. This is not just two mega forces coming together. This is affecting multiple wrestlers. Last week on SmackDown, we saw it. Kevin Owens no longer trusts Cody Rhodes. Randy mm-hmm. Orton's kind of on the fence about all this. Um, there's so much. So, so much. Stocks up to 100% giving me rock at bad blood to set up the scenario of holy shit, the rock is the one who actually has been pulling the strings with solo this whole time, which then sets up Survivor Series, you know, War Games. Rock is the captain, but he doesn't have to wrestle. That's how I want it to go. Right. Well, how does Cody play into it? Would he be. Because you remember, I think last week we discussed who would be on OG versus new. Where would Cody fit into that? Because it would be either Cody or, or Sammy. Mm. Mm. Which, 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 what kind of white are you going with? Are you going with the spicy white or are you going with the Canadian white? <laughs> I'm going with spicy. Spicy a white? Sp- a little spice on there, a little spice. So, but I think the rock, like we meet Paul Heyman has, I think two years ago at WrestleMania 39 says the bloodlines throwing lines in the third inning. And then about a year and a half later, he said, we're not even past the third inning. I know. Like, Shit. You're right. Because if you keep adding new members and if you reveal, yeah. say Paul Heyman's the one pulling the strings for solo mm-hmm. or the rock is pulling strings for solo. Like there's just so many scenarios where we can go, but uh, definitely a stock's up. Uh, if The Rock is going to be there at Bad Blood. And 100%, all the way stocks up for me personally, Rock vs. Cody is the best way to kick off your Netflix relationship. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what I feel. No, I agree. But we got John Cena, so it might be too many legends on one. You might have to see. True. I'm true. I'm, I'm surprised on NXT they didn't bring The Undertaker back just to, you know, choke slam, uh, uh, you know. Somebody. No one. There's always next week. There's always next week. (laughs) That's true. Radio Orton versus Javon Evans will be there. The tag team titles will be on the line as well. Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill will also be there. So, yes, they are stacking up that. Speaking of NXT, though, I thought NXT and CW was an amazing. If you never watched NXT before and you suddenly were interested, that was the perfect show for you. You Mm -hmm. had returns, you had people you were familiar with. You had championship runs. You had a huge arena. The the music, the aesthetics, the new logo. So mm-hmm. you've been inside the NXT arena. And um, mm-hmm. Booker T revealed they're gutting it. They mm-hmm. have ripped apart that whole place. And they're going to redesign it to be something new, mm-hmm. something different. So mm-hmm. my opinion, my question to you would be like, you've watched NXT this whole time. Mm-hmm. Now you're watching it. The The... the the stuff the the card they put together was like a PLE. Mm-hmm. Do you think that can be carried over into all shows, or they hit a home run and next time they'll hit like a double? Uh, first of all, I'm just glad they're out of the PC. Please Thanks. let's get some new faces. Uh, Chicago crowd was hot last night, and um, they put on a great show. We had, like I said, we had Punk who gave out pizza after the show. Did you know? <laughs> I know. He gave out pizza. Um, we had Punk. We had the Heartbreak Kid. We had Triple H in the building. We had Jade and Bianca. Um, I would like to see them continue being on the road with occasional shows at the PC. I feel mm. like we need to explore outside the PC. Um, you know, the, the PC crowd, yes, they have contributed to a lot to the momentum of the new NXT with, you know, making news chants. Like, whoop, that trick came from the, you know, the PC crowd. So, so they, they make and break a lot of the new up-and-comers. Um, but with, with that, they make and break a lot of newcomers. So I feel like we need to start getting opinions of other crowds yes. instead of just giving just the PC, like, oh, they boo them, so let's boo them. Let's also boo them. No, let's, 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 give, a, uh, you know, let's give a new audience. So I'm, I'm glad they're you know, going to uh, St. Louis next week. Even though St. Louis is not known, for wrestling, Chicago is, St. Louis not so much. Uh, it should be interesting. I know they're struggling right now to sell 
that the new arena, which is the smaller than the first one they booked. So let's yeah. see. Yeah, they're struggling. They're struggling right now. But like I said, St. Louis is not the market for wrestling, unfortunately. So that that it's going to be a lot of, you know, um, pro, not pros and cons, um, some hits, hit and misses with different arenas they might pick. But it should be fun. I'm, I'm so excited to see Randy Orton on NXT versus Javon. I mean, so young. So young. I mean, 21, I believe. Huh? 21, 21 years yeah. old. Yeah, facing the Viper. Like, that is wild. He's had a great year. He's had a great year. So, it should be fun. Um, I feel like they're in a good mood with this new uh, new era. Especially the new logo. Ooh, I love the new logo. So I know. Good. You know, everyone always obsessed over black and gold. Black and gold. Black, black and gold. gold. Now it's a black and silver era. Black and silver. Somebody who was designing that shit was like, okay. And that's what I like about it, too. Is like They didn't just make a new logo like NXT 2.0, which is like the worst name possible in the entire universe. Colorful. <laughs> um, co- very colorful. Very Nickelodeon. But yet, yeah. this one, someone was like, okay, everyone was black and gold. What is closest to black and gold? And some, mm-hmm. someone must have yelled out, black and silver! And it, it truly silver. was. And it truly is. And it's good to see this new era. Uh, I, it's funny you mentioned Javon, because I interviewed him mm-hmm. uh, right, I don't know, like a couple months ago, maybe three months ago now. And mm-hmm. I asked him, you know, hey, who is the person from the main roster you want to wrestle? He said Randy Orton. So when they announced Randy Orton versus John Evans, I go on my YouTube account and I see this giant ass spike in views. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what's that coming from? And it's somehow that announcement like triggered Mm -hmm. YouTube algorithm to be like, oh, wait a minute. They had talked about this months ago and suddenly it shot Mm -hmm. up. So thank you, WD, for giving me a little more money in my pocket and yeah. boosting the views on that video with john uh yeah i'm very interested to see what happens next though there is a video that was hilarious and if you know the history of Shawn michaels he used to be a big old prick and many years ago before the attitude era he stuffed a very a lot of gauze down his pants in really short shorts and he danced mm-hmm. around and he shoved his crotch in Jim Ross's face and he mm-hmm. got fined $10,000. But Vince McMahon was like, God damn it, that's attitude. And the attitude error pretty much came from gauze down Shawn Michaels' crotch. Mm-hmm. Backstage, CM Punk was wearing the same shorts and he put mm-hmm. gauze down his pants. And he's, But he's mm-hmm. wearing a cowboy hat too. And Shawn showed up and he was like, you can't do that. What are you doing? Oh my God, mm-hmm. give me that cowboy hat. Mm-hmm. And I was <laughs> laughing my ass off because... Come on. Yeah. There's so many Shawn Michaels terrible things you've heard about him over the years, but mm-hmm. that was hilarious that he acknowledged that the, the gauze thing. If you're in, if you were old enough like me who listens to the radio still, you were alive watching that, you know, 20 mm-hmm. something years ago. So yeah, it was a long time ago. I, I, I like that. Let's talk about something else though. Seth Rollins has returned to the WWE. And mm-hmm. just like this whole rock, Cody Roman thing. I'm going to break this shit down. How do you think Seth Rollins feels seeing that he sacrificed his body? He did everything in his power to help Cody beat Roman and take down the bloodline. And now Cody's teaming up with Roman Reigns. How do you think Seth Rollins, the character, feels about this? Uh, I think he has bigger problems right now dealing with um, Jonah. Right? Jonah? Little Bronson Reed. Yeah. Well, why did I call him Jonah? Was that his old name? That was his name when he left, That when he got fired. Okay, okay. <laughs> when, he, when he got Bronson fired, Reed. he was a Triple H guy. Yeah, Bronson Reed. So I think he's got he's got his hands full with Bronson Reed right now. Uh, but um, I'm sure he'll come back to that. He always does. He never lets it go, as we, as we see. Uh, as we've seen in the past, he does. He, he harbors onto his anger towards Roman. Um, Any way he can get at Roman, he will. Um, but, you know, um, I think it's, I'm so happy he's back. I mean, again, he wasn't gone for that long. You would think, like, the months are flying by. What was he gone? Like, back in July? And now he, Then no. he came back to be a referee for Yeah, uh, and Punk then he and left Drew. again. Uh, yeah, you know, can't keep, can't keep him down. He, Got it. He has the itchy to get back into the ring, but it's. I'm glad to have Steph back. You can always tell when like a major heavy hitter is like gone, and then when they come back, it's like, ah, yes, we need you. But now that Steph's gone, we lost um, 
Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman got injured. So now he's back out. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Welcome back, Seth. We missed yeah. you. Where's yeah. your wife? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next step. That's another person who's definitely missing. You can tell. Yeah, you definitely can tell. Charlotte. We need to get is, Charlotte is missing. Back. <laughs> I know. I was, it's so crazy. I was there. The no. night that she got injured, it was a it was a SmackDown, and mm-hmm. maybe might have been in Boston. And I remember she was fighting, I think Asuka maybe. Yeah. And she landed weird, and then the the match ended, the lights go out, and I'm like third or fourth row, so I can see everything. And I was like, holy shit! I remember I remember filming it, and mm-hmm. I was like, this is the, this is crazy, because yeah. WrestleMania was coming up. Like we were getting close uh, yeah. to WrestleMania season, and I was really upset. And because she, she's the best, like yeah. you know, Rhea Ripley's great, and you know Becky Lynch and Sasha and Bailey and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, nobody we- can touch Charlotte Flair, and I, she's the best talker, in ring work. Uh, you can make her, she, you can love her, she can, you can hate her. Like mm-hmm. there's nobody, I, I, and I've said it to other wrestlers, but like I wouldn't go to Becky Lynch's face when I interviewed her and say, "Hey, you know, you know who's better than you?" Like I didn't mm-hmm. say that. I would never do that. But Charlotte Flair is the best. Like, mm-hmm. sorry, Lita. Sorry, Trish. Sorry, whoever your favorite is. Charlotte Flair is the best. The numbers prove it. So, but Seth Rollins, the character, I think once he's done with Bronson Reed, I think it's going to be exposed where he's going to be like, ah, uh, dude, like, I did everything for you, Cody. I yeah. even dusted off my shield gear when I needed surgery and waddled my ass out there to help you. And, uh, you know. You, you didn't now you're teaming up with the guy like what the hell man he's untrustworthy but seth is also very untrustworthy so yeah. there's a lot of uh <laughs> you know, seth, yeah. seth is the one who turned on roman and dean ambrose seth is the yeah. one who removed Rey mysterio's eyeball from his socket mm-hmm. yeah come on so uh definitely stocks up for having uh seth rollins back in the wwe very happy about that uh, other rumors, though, and more involving Roman Reigns, is Roman Reigns. Uh, the rumor is that he's going to be in the Royal Rumble this year. He hasn't been in a Royal Rumble in, I believe, um, four years, almost five years now. I think 2020, 2020 was the last time. 2020, yeah, was the last one. Yeah. Where he, the infamous, um, he ran over Kevin, uh, Kevin Owens with a golf cart after that match. I think it was a Yes. <laughs> yes. And so, like, him inside of a Royal Rumble match, like, who, if he doesn't win, and whoever tosses him out, holy, that that person's made. And you keep saying Chicken Pot Two works for Roman Reigns. Yes, I've seen him before. Does he? I with that ten toes down. I still, yeah, I stand behind this. I'm telling you, we're gonna get a heel Cody, and we're gonna get a turn by Jacob. I'm telling you. And The Rock is the mastermind of all of this. <laughs> He's the, the Rock and Cody behind, are working together. Behind Cody. Yes, he's the him and Cody are working together, but Jacob is an insider for Roman. Wow. Now that would that's more mind bending than anything I think of. Cody turning heel, joining up with The Rock. Well, one of them's got to turn heel. Well, you gotta have a baby face Roman and baby face Cody. <laughs> of course, all the merchandise, ah. all that merchandise for those little kids. But little kids, even when Roman came out with a bad guy, people still put the ones up. People, yeah. people still bought yeah. the needle mover shirt and the OTC. Like, there was no, um, mommy, don't buy me a Roman shirt. Yeah. I was like, buy me them all. Yeah. No, I, I'm very interested to see that. Uh, Roman Reigns, the Royal Rumble, him winning would be great yeah. because he hasn't done it in, in forever. But yeah. Uh, him- and he needs a redo because, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. He needs a redo because the city of Philadelphia did him so dirty. Okay. They booed him. They booed him. Now, did Philly do him dirty? Yes. Or the WWE do Philly dirty? No, no, they did Roman no. dirty because he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. And now they all cheer for him. They all throw up the ones. Now they appreciate him, but they didn't appreciate him then. I appreciated him. <laughs> I didn't. I used to have a pod, an audio podcast, and I could have said anything about Roman Reigns, and that's how the title was always like Roman mm-hmm. sucks or something, and it always blew up because that was the catalyst. All you had to do was write Roman Reigns sucks on Twitter, and it was like. A hundred retweets. Yeah, no. Now Twitter is all weird with the algorithms, and it doesn't make any mm-hmm. sense for me personally. So uh, Twitter, I've been backing off because I don't know what the hell is up with Twitter, but it don't work no more for me. So, 
YouTube shit. I could put the word fart on, on a dashboard and people are like, <laughs> like, comment. Oh, all right, let's do it. Let's go that way. More money that way anyways. Uh, I hope Roman Reigns wins. That'd be fun to see because then it's the, he's finally chasing the championship versus him having it for so long. Mm-hmm. Maybe they'll have, maybe they'll have Cody work a double night again. Make him versus The Rock the first night and Roman the second night. Oh man, because all you know, you wait, we, next year we have uh, two night SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Royal Rumble wow. hasn't made two nights yet. That to me was like the most logical one to go two nights. Like oh, they were like SummerSlam's going two nights. I'm like, do you really need to? Like obviously, if there's money being people are offer you to you do it. Yeah. Royal Rumble, you have two Royal Rumble matches. One yeah. night's the men, one night's the women. You put the Intercontinental title on one night, U.S. title on the other night, world title, Universal Championship. There's your card. Like you're all set. SummerSlam. Because you they know build. the women. Because they know the women who are women will outsell the males. Because that's what we mostly most for, look forward to the most. They refuse to give us an Evolution Part Two. <laughs> refuse. <laughs> Now, I saw, I did see a discussion about that recently. Do you think that there is a need now for an elevation to yes. war? Yes. At the time, though, it was like a crown jewel, like everyone's mad about that. So we're going to do this for you, it felt like. I know. Now was, the women like, get matches all the time. But we only had one female, I think we only had one female match this pay per view, right? It was just Liv versus, oh, no, we have Nia versus, um, Bailey. we have Nia versus Bailey and Liv versus, uh, is Liv versus Ripley. Ripley? With Dominic Mysterio and a son of a struck cage. Okay. So we really only have one female m- match because a male's involved in the other one. A male's okay. involved. Okay. They're fighting over a male. Um, Are they fighting over a male? Only... Yes. They're fighting over damn Dominic. Um, but I think, no, but Evolution was so special and it meant a lot to all the women. And there's so many women they missed. Like at the time, Maurice was pregnant, so we could have a Maurice back. Like, there's so many women. There's new NXT. Like, Dakota and Rhea Ripley were in NXT when Evolution first came out. And now they're not. Now they're on the main roster. So they can face, like, some of the newer girls. Like, we need another Evolution, okay? It, it was fun. It meant a lot. It made history. They sold really well. I mean, I was, they had me flying to damn Nassau Coliseum. Nassau Coliseum is in Long Island. I love the Nassau Coliseum. But I it's love not near anything. It's in Long Island. Yes. Who the hell goes but... to Long Island? <laughs> no one goes Nobody. To Long Island. Nobody. But that's <laughs> the Nassau Coliseum was very famous for the WWF always going there and taping their yeah. weekly superstars and wrestling challenges and Saturday's main mm-hmm. events. And I don't know why, but I, I love it so much because beyond like the load section, there's a platform that surrounds mm-hmm. the entire arena. So you can just mm-hmm. walk around and not have to be like cramped up against someone trying to find you a seat. You can just walk around. I love that about the Nassau Coliseum. I've been to like a bunch of arenas and that one to me is like, this is the greatest thing ever. You can just stand up if you want to. Standing room only. And no one complains. No security was like, hey, sit down. Because you're not blocking anybody. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> but uh, Evolution, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have seen the argument of both ways of being like, well, we've they achieved what they were trying to achieve as in, you know, give the divas a chance and then suddenly... We got an actual, now everyone is being showcased more often than having a two-minute, one-woman's match out of a three-hour show. Now we're seeing multiple matches featuring multiple characters and storylines that actually extend beyond just one week. They've, you know, we've had the Lyra Valkyria, the storyline going on with Tatum Paxley. You have NXT, obviously, is just filled Mm -hmm. with women's Mm storylines. So I, I agree. I would love to see another evolution. But, like, I guess the argument would be, like, do we do we new one now? But at the same time, like, you do because you brought up a really good point. Like, mm-hmm. is it? do you think it's, like, a um a money thing where, like, they have a piece of paper can show you that Rhea Ripley sold this many shirts and, and, and um, you know, uh, Rey Mysterio sold this many shirts and they go, okay, well, reality is more men are selling more merchandise for us than women. So, but is that – because they're not being pushed properly. Like there's like this weird, like, I don't know what's right and what's wrong situation. There's so many women that they can showcase and they don't. The, the WWE is staffed with women, okay? At this so that why not give them another pay-per-view? I mean, I can honest I can say that I've attended 
anytime they've had an all women's show, I've attended. I've been, I went to the all women's um, NXT show in Jacksonville and I went to the all women's uh, evolution pay-per-view and they both sold out. So like it proves mm-hmm. that they do sell. <laughs> like, yeah. So I, 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 why not? Like it's one fucking show. <laughs> like really? I mean, if you could do Saudi, you could do free. I mean, you know, Saudi's giving them a lot of money for this, but like, right. But they can make it okay. So if you don't give it, if you don't give it to them as a pay per view, why not just do it like a Saturday night main event, like oh, women Saturday night main event? Ooh. I like it that too. Sell. It's it true. Would sell. You mean to tell me? First of all, you and I are in the wrestling community. You mean to tell me men are not going to go to an all women's pay per view? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I believe I believe Shawn Michaels would be front row for that pay per view. Yeah, you, with his Instagram I mean, open. Yeah, I mean the last one was stacked. We had Nikki Bella, we had Trish Stratus. Lita. You mean to tell me Alexa Bliss men love Alexa Bliss? Like you mean to tell me men are not gonna run to this show? Of course they are. They're gonna be outside with their Funko Pops, like sign their sign. Oh their no, pen. no, no. <laughs> No, don't meet me at the airport. But yeah. I think that's the thing too. Is like uh, you bring you bring up a really good point where it's like there are plenty of Twitter accounts that all they do is post the mm-hmm. women's photos, and most mm-hmm. of the time it's from their Instagrams, the women's yeah. Instagrams. That is, mm-hmm. so it's not like the men are finding the most seductive photos and posting them online and be like, "Look mm-hmm. at this." It's mm-hmm. I just got this from their yeah. Instagram that they yeah. posted themselves, and it's mm-hmm. their ass. Here's a yeah. picture of someone's ass. And yeah. it's like, and the funny thing is in the comments are like, how for, for the, the random account on Twitter posting it, like, you're sick, you're da, da, da. Or it's like, oh yeah. And it's like, dude, they're not, yeah. they're posting it because they know people are going to click on this. They're also posting it because the woman posted it. You know, yeah. he posted this, this ass photo. Women wrestling sells, okay? It does. It's, it sells. It does. And uh, Instagram's doing very well. Mm-hmm. Instagram's doing very well, you know. Like I said, I think Shawn Michaels did an interview with The Ringer this past week, and they asked him about his Instagram uh, searches. <laughs> and he was like, hey, I, uh, you know, hey, there's lots of pretty women at NXT, and we, we <laughs> happen to find them sometimes on Instagram. And I'm like, Shawn, don't reveal all this, man. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't. You're married with kids. It's just, yeah. you know. Like that Devon Dudley, people used to go into his likes uh, on Twitter and be like, Devon, yeah, you can see all your likes, you know, and at least they changed that up on Twitter. So now no one can yeah. see your likes. But the day they undo that and everyone who liked all that shit is revealed. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're this. You're that. You, you're you're you like Kamala Harris or you like Donald Trump or you yeah. like Jada Parker or you like Shut Up Flair. Like, ah, it's going to be revealed. Yeah. But you're right. Women wrestling does sell. For multiple reasons, for and multiple talent reasons. is definitely in the top of it. In right, Instagram mm-hmm. photos. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm right, though, you, you're shitting on Nassau Coliseum, but I believe isn't that where the next Saturday night's main event is going to be? Nassau Coliseum. Yes, I know. If, I'm, if I'm correct, so uh, yes, you are correct. I'm, I'm very excited about that. Maybe the Rock and Fight Cody there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the last piece of business here, you know. We don't really talk about that much, but it happened today. AEW has signed a deal with the WB and Warner Brothers, and they're going to start streaming Mm -hmm. on Max, finally. And they'll have discounted pay-per-views in 2025. And honestly, for me as a wrestling fan, I was never going to pay $55, $60 for a pay-per-view after being, uh, for years, with the WWE Network only paying $9.99 a month, then going to Peacock. For you mm-hmm. pay for Peacock, okay, you get wrestling and you get whatever you else you want on there. Law and Order every episode if you want, uh, Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. whatever. So good for them, yeah. Because obviously it's shown that wrestlers who get laid off from the WWE have a place mm-hmm. to go. Swerve Strickland, mm-hmm. for example, uh, Brian Danielson just retiring, then going to AEW. Edge, uh, Soraya Page. Like, there's a lot of people who who we you know you know over the years. So good for them. But mm-hmm. I don't know if this will actually make AEW more watchable for other wrestling fans who already take a giant dump on it. So, like, what are your thoughts on that? Because obviously it's good to have more places for people to work. Mm-hmm. But I think Tony Khan even said it, or actually Darby Allen said it, the WWE is Taylor Swift. 
and AEW is like rock and roll, which, you know, you can like comedy movies, but not like horror movies. So like, mm -hmm. what do you think about all that? First of all, I think it's amazing that there's so many promotions out there wrestlers can go to outside of WWE. I think, you know, AEW, you know, has its pros and cons. And one of the pros is that it gives another home for wrestlers to go to once, you know, they leave WWE um, because they do get thrown a lot of money at and they have, like, have a better schedule. But also, like you said, like, but are they selling like WWE does? So, like, you said that they're going to Max, which is cool. But that's like another streaming device, a streaming service that someone's gonna download if they didn't have it already. And I think Max is not as cheap as like Peacock. I think you have to like or Netflix. Hulu. Yeah, or Netflix. Yeah. So, but and did you say they still have to pay for the pay per view at a cheaper price? Yeah, according to what I've been reading, is you still oh, have to no. pay for pay per view, but it's discounted. So if you were paying say fifty, maybe you're paying only forty. There's no there's no numbers that's out there awful. yet. That that part is still awful because then why do you? What's the point of the streaming then? What what am I streaming? If I still got to pay for this, you can watch Dynamite and well, because the huh. back catalog will be there, like on Peacock, where you can watch a Raw from nineteen ninety four if you wanted to. You'll be able to watch Dynamite from twenty nineteen. But the difference so is with Pe but the difference is with Peacock is you're paying only one price. If you want to watch it, like e including a pay per view, mm -hmm. Max, I still have to pay for the pay per view. A discounted price though. Okay, yeah, no, I don't like that deal. But again, uh, you know, as far as AEW goes, I think it's amazing that there's another promotion for wrestlers to go to. Uh, you know, they were they. It's a lot of pettiness between WWE and AEW. Like, first the Lucha Brothers said they're going to WWE, and Tony Khan was like, "Ah, you got injured, so we're attacking on time." And then to yeah. get back at AEW for that, WWE's like, "Well, Daniel Bryan, uh, we're going to trademark yes, yes, yes." So, like, it's just. Pettiness. It's, I mean, it's funny for us because we're not dealing with it, but it's like, come on, guys. Like, what? I, <laughs> why? Why? No. Um, but, um, yeah, I, congratulations to them for joining Max. I already have Max, but will I be watching AW? No. <laughs> Still no. <laughs> uh, but congratulations to them. That's amazing. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I'm still team yeah. WWE, but Same. I'm happy for anyone who. who I mean, to exactly. me, whenever someone goes over there, they, in my eyes, they retire. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh damn, that's crazy. Edge retired. <laughs> not, a little not bit, like, a little bit to me, because like, for instance, perfect example is when uh, Mercedes Monet, Sasha Banks, ended up going yeah. there. The first interview she did was like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I'll probably go back to WWE someday." WWE. That's the first thing she said every month. It's like, yeah. What? But then she, but then later on, like months later, then she she's was like, oh, she was like, oh, well, I was talking to Meg Thee Stallion first. Okay, but I could have sworn we saw a photo of Meg Thee Stallion and Bianca Belair. So like, forever ago, yeah, forever ago. So I, it, it's so petty. I mean, eventually, I think she'll be back and she'll talk all this shit, but she'll come back eventually. Um, yeah. I mean, but she's ha she's happy. That's good. Good for her. Am I watching her? No, but I just think, in my opinion, AEW has this thing where they grab all WWE's big stars or stars that were coming from other promotions, they grab them and then their stock doesn't really go up. Okay. Like, I think Mercedes Renee is and Daniel Bryan are one of the few that their stocks went up. But the others like Adam Cole, don't know what happened. Keith Lee, don't know what happened. Swerve is another one, but fuck yeah, fuck Swerve. <laughs> but um Malachi Black, Buddy Murphy. Malachi Black, Buddy. Uh, is she... even F Ray, I guess like... FTR at uh, the revival. Yeah. They, to, they they went up. Um yeah. Even Soraya, like, yeah, she's still popular, but like not really. <laughs> so no. like but Adam I think Cole that's... to me is the most devastating story ever. Cause I'm like, this is freaking Adam Cole. Like, this is Adam Cole. And the next yeah, Shawn Michaels he's... in my eyes for for as long as I can remember, I was like, "Oh, mm -hmm. dude, this guy's gonna be the best. He's gonna mm -hmm. be the new like a mixture of Shawn Michaels and Edge. Like this is gonna yeah. be crazy. He'll be world champion. Like mm -hmm. undisputed era is gonna run Raw or SmackDown someday. Oh, yay. yeah. And nope. <laughs> no. It is interesting that Vince McMahon, on his poor decision making. Of mm -hmm. the you read that rumor years ago where he wanted to make Adam Cole cut all his hair off and be a manager. Oh, and yeah, like, for Keith Lee. Keith, and you're Keith like, what? 
what yeah. are you doing? Like, and I'm people just, around Vince are like, that sounds great, Vince. Yeah, shave his head, Vince. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll help you shave his head. I wish he wouldn't have stuck around because, I mean, Pete Dunne did and he became Bush. But, again, it only was for, like, what, three more months? And then Vince was gone. And then Triple H was back in charge. And now, like, you know. Well, LA Knight, Dunn, too. LA Knight yeah, stuck around. Pete Dunne is, like, now on all the shows. Like, I mean, you know, everything LA happens for a uh, LA Knight's your champion. He's, a, he's your yeah. United States champion. They made Ethan Page a champion. <laughs> like, if Jade, I mean, Jade was always going to be a star, but Jade is, like, bigger now. Her stock definitely went up. So, oh, 100%. Um, yeah. So, again, like, I think it's cool that there's another place for people, to, you know, to go do what they want to do, get paid a lot more, and have more, you know, better schedule. But at what cost? Like, I mean, Edge was... <laughs> He broke his leg. I was at I was at the event. Of, I was actually in Vegas early this year for Double or Nothing, and he's on the steel cage on the top. I'm like, he's not going to jump yeah, but off. He also was running back and forth. He ran to one side, and then when he ran to the other, there was no one there. He's like, oh, <laughs> I, I can't do that. Uh, so I mean, and now he's injured. So like, uh, yeah. yeah. I remember <laughs> the uh, I mean, the, the running. Loading. I remember that. That was a big one. It was, I think, Kenny yeah. Omega and Dean Ambr- uh John Moxley, and I think the, the the ring was supposed to explode, and all the little sparklers shot out, mm-hmm. and uh, they acted like he was dead. I remember that. Like, there's the problem with me is I will be completely honest. I am stalked by WWE and AEW's PR people on my Twitter. Stalked. Mm-hmm. Where if I write something, I get like a text message, and I'm like. There's a million people on yeah. Twitter writing uh, all types of shit. Yeah. What? And I'm, I'm like, you know, if we're talking about like media people and out of a hundred, I may be like 50. Like, what are you yeah. doing? Like, why are you chasing after me? But, mm-hmm. and um, so when you see wrestlers, you know, show up, I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Why would you think this is a good idea to come here? Like, mm-hmm. like you said, they retired. It's like you live in a, a ghost town somewhere. So yeah. TNA does the same thing, but TNA doesn't have the budget for an Edge or a Soraya or right. an FTR or Keith Lee and all these people. Mm. TNA will bring you in, and you don't actually like work there. You, you're paid by appearances. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm interested to see what happens next with AEW. Yeah. Uh, if the pay-per-views are discounted like 10 bucks, you got my 10 bucks. If they're 40 bucks instead of 50, I'm sorry. I can just easily go on Twitter and see people posting clips the whole damn time. Yeah, that's how the whole damn time. <laughs> yeah, so you know, it doesn't matter. Either way, uh, I'm excited for Bad Blood this coming weekend. I'm super pumped for The Rock coming back. Hopefully, I'm super pumped for Roman and Cody teaming up. You know, I used to joke about it. Will they? Can they coexist? And this is the first time I actually am very excited about the idea of can they coexist? Can they? Can yeah, they? they can. Yeah. Are you know, bumping to each other. Like, oh, you bumped into me, and then they start shoving each other? Maybe. You know, oh, this is the tribal chief, so he doesn't really like to play. Well, he doesn't play well with others, but we'll see. No, no. And Cody, though, recently said also that thing on SmackDown when they went in the big football field and were talking to each other. They said He said, Cody, that, that was a little improv. We both didn't know what we were going to say. I called bullshit on that, first off, because that was shot from, like, every angle, and it was shot a million times. There was, there was a script. That's how I how I feel about that. Cody has lied multiple times on camera about multiple things. And even yeah. Brian Danielson said, I learned to lie from Cody Rhodes because Cody Rhodes told me it's fun to do. Yeah. Well, you got to sell tickets. But all in all, I am so excited for Bad Blood this weekend. And again, it's always a pleasure talking to you as well about wrestling this weekend. We'll finally see each other face to face. Well, we actually did see each other face to face at WrestleMania. But we will see each other differently this time because the dynamics have changed. We podcast together weekly. I'm pumped. You're pumped. Mm-hmm. We're all pumped. For bad blood, remember it's going to be very early because they don't want to cross over UFC and the WWE. Mm-hmm. So I'm Steve. She's Danielle. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.